What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 FES. I need to do something at Polonia Mall while we're out and about tonight. I need to get a fortune persona. We're going to be hanging out with Kisuke here in a couple days. And I want to make sure I have something so I don't forget. And then we're going to do the normal coffee study. That would actually be kind of cool if we could take the charming coffee into our study session. Two for one deal. It's just like Persona 3 Portable and working at the cafe. Do I have any fortune personas in the compendium? Let's take a look. Please? At least let me have one. I don't. Crap. So, when in doubt, not exactly when in doubt, but when needed, let's try fusing. Nothing there. Oh, wait! That was it! Fortuna! My Naga and Valkyrie makes Fortuna. Cool. Just what I needed. Probably won't ever use this persona, but still, I'd like to have it right now. I was about to say, Igor, if there is a fusion accident, I, you will not be my friend anymore. And it learns Magaru, actually. This knows Garu, Bufu, Magaru? This is actually a pretty good offensive persona. Never mind on never actually using it. I might actually have to do it. Let me get my other personas squared away, and I'll see you in a sec. Thanks for everything, Elizabeth. You know, I should really invite you to the cafe. I bet we would have so much to chat about. Like, you would try to figure out what makes the coffee charming. She could probably analyze every ingredient just by tasting it. And then this place would be ruined. I have found that Elizabeth is just the ruiner of all trade secrets. And in another universe, Theo's the exact same way. Never invite people in who only wear blue. Hey, Kaz. Sorry. Nope. I mean, I would love to hang out with you, but right now, it's not a good time. You, on the other hand... Hmm... You know what? Yeah, what's up? Would you like to go somewhere next Sunday? Sunday is the 28th. Yeah! I'll do that. Looking forward to it. Oh my gosh, another phone call? Hey, Kenji! I'm busy. Every time he calls, I'm just busy. Busy. You know, I got the air quotes going on there. Are we stuck on our worst subject again? Are we going to get sick because of it? Okay, good. I still think that's ludicrous. I'm stuck on my worst subject. It's stupid. Junpei, we got menacing music going on right here. Must be less than two weeks until the next full moon. I haven't really noticed. <laughs> Doesn't mean I see her all the time. Well, there's probably a lot on her mind. Like, I'm wondering what Tartarus is, why we have to fight these higher shadows. I know it's for a good cause, but... Just humor me. What if people are the real issue? Alright, never mind. We are heading to Photography Club today. Going to learn how to take pictures. In fact... There he is. Hey, Kisuke. That's actually cool that he's out and about right here, right outside my classroom, so it doesn't take very long to get to where I need to go.
Oh, I forgot Fuko's in here too. The hours flew by as you put film in developing liquid and stayed in a dark room. You all right? Fuka? Oh no, what's wrong? Kisuke taking charge. It's just a headache, dude. <laughs> uh, anybody else see this coming? Not me. Playing doctor? I don't know, he's doing a good job. Oh, this is a, this is a thing. Uh-oh. So, explain. Well, it's not exactly a bad thing. It might be a little annoying, but... <laughs> Even in the pouring down rain when neither of you have an umbrella. What's wrong with you? Well, as long as he doesn't have a limp and he's not popping Vicodin, I'm sure he's allowed to have some sort of opinion. Maybe it's something that interests him. Let him have his time. There we go. I was waiting for something like that. If that's what he wants to do, let him do it. Uh, chronic tension type headache mostly. So you're just stressed out. Wow. Diagnosed. <laughs> he, he had a good one there. You'd be surprised at how silly some ailments can be. All right, too far there, doctor boy. Uh-uh. <laughs> Let's go, Fuka, come on, out the back door. Oh yeah, didn't you know? Guess we forgot to mention that. Well, you're wrong. She can only do one of those things. Living on my own, I, I live in a dorm full of everybody. Okay, well, he wants to be friends. He wants to be friendly, just as long as you don't play doctor with me, buddy. I mean, I'll take off my shirt for you, but don't touch me. Please. This went weird places. Kisuke, don't touch me. But let's be friends. <laughs> now about removing your shirt. No, no. Wow, he's willing to go all out on this. It's a headache. Uh, can you do that? Can I ride? <laughs> It's getting dark out. God, this took five hours. <laughs> Let's go, Fuka. Oh, hey. Hello there. Oh, everybody, every single person is here. And now I want to check that. Off screen, I went ahead and checked everybody's level just to see how, how we're doing on levels and how much I need to do in Tartarus. I just wanted to be prepared. 
Yukari's really low on level. Mitsuru is exactly where I want her, but one more level can prove useful. Junpei, a few more levels wouldn't hurt. Akihiko, he is actually two away from where I want him. I want that Mazio. And that's all. Still not going to Tartarus, not for a few more days. So off we go. Let's go have some fun at Starbucks. I just realized how not fun that sounds. Do I have any requests going right now? This is probably something really silly that I shouldn't even be looking at, but yeah, it's just a platinum watch. Buy me a platinum watch from your world. That probably won't happen for a while. I don't know why I took that. That was silly. Anyway, how you doing? Are you me trying to talk on an LP? Let's go. And now tomorrow? What should I do tomorrow? I'm already thinking about the days coming up. Just because I want to make sure I do everything I can for everybody. People are going to pull me left and right. I will be friends with everybody. Except Bebe, I'm busy. Gomenosai. I wonder how many people are going to correct me on my on purpose badly speaking Japanese. I think it would be kind of funny if I did an entire episode pronouncing everybody's name wrong, every Japanese honorific incorrectly, and just everything that I can just to see how many people correct me. Because it happens a lot. I don't know, I think it'd be funny. Most to hang out. Kisuke, you want to hang out already? But I just talked to you. He really wants to know me, I guess. Yeah, if I don't have anything else going on, I'll come out, hang with you. We'll take some pictures, develop them together. I guess you could say we'll develop our relationship. It's not going any farther than me taking my shirt off and you taking my pulse. <laughs> you know, I honestly thought he was starting Lale Lule Lo. Mr. Adagawa, do you know about the Patriots? We're gonna learn about natural magic. That sounds fascinating. And I've I've already tuned out. I'm actually looking at my wall right now. In fact, I'm gonna pet my cat. How you doing? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I wonder if I can get you up here to the microphone and have you meow into the microphone. I think that would be more interesting than whatever Mr. Edogawa has to say. He's a good boy. Natural magic? Fascinating! Isn't it? I would have my cat get up on my lap, but I think it might hit the microphone. <laughs> that would not sound good. This is so great. Why are you laughing at me like that? Little test. Let me guess. Yukari. Ara ara lo ara dia. Lolly. Okay, never mind. Yes, sir. I was paying attention totally. It wasn't just petting my cat. To look for natural water sources, that would be dowsing. That's right. Don't you doubt my knowledge of magic? I know everything. It's just like magic. Wait, the power of prayer in natural magic helped with dowsing? I guess I did learn something today. I learned that my cat is so adorable. Look at this boy. You can't see him, but he's there. That's the problem with time. There's never enough of it. We rock. We know our ways around magic. <laughs> 
I think every time Mr. Edogawa has a lecture and it's not remotely interesting, I'm just going to, you know, tune out, do something else, maybe come up with a story that I can tell everybody. Today I have nothing else planned besides seeing Chihiro. Now this is not going to be for a rank up, this is just going to be for points. Make sure I have, yep, got a matching persona. Let's take some time, let's walk around, let's just have some fun. There we go. Relationship growing stronger. Your relationship could become stronger soon, yes! That's what I wanted. Everything is going according to plan. Jihiro and I are... Our link is getting stronger. Welcome back. Yo, I'm out. Let's see if I've learned anything from hanging out with Kisuke. Let's see, if I go to the prank club, will I get even more charm? Because I can develop my own photos now. So if I take these snapshots of my sweet poses and post them everywhere, will I get more charm? Okay, good, the prank club is here. <laughs> I know which days they're on there, but I never pay attention to the actual date. So sometimes I go to the arcade and think, wait a minute, is this game actually going on right now? Even more phone calls! Oh my gosh, Yuko, give me some space, woman! Uh, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll chat later, don't worry. I'm actually going to hang out with you here in the upcoming days. How's your July looking? <laughs> I'm already thinking ahead. What people I need to hang out with on what days? Let's go far in advance of my schedule. Let's see, can I pencil you in for next August? Skipping straight to lunchtime, who wants to hang out today? I have a strange feeling I know who. Oh, wait. <laughs> you weren't the one I was expecting. Hey, Fuka, how you doing? Free after school? Not sure yet. Even though I am kind of sure, you're actually the person I want to speak to. You probably want to give me disgusting food and... Well, here's hoping cats actually like it. Just like my cat right here who's beside me. He likes to talk when I'm recording. He likes to be part of videos. Let's go hang out with Fuka. She was actually the one I wanted to hang out with today. Let's see Fuka! I was just about to head home, but... You know, if you want to hang out before we go. If you have another dish for me to try. Please, no. Please, no more dishes. I like my life. Oh, good. We're going to a place that prepares their own food. <laughs> Talk to her about favorite foods. Yeah, the edible ones. Yeah, you did mention that. You wanted to... Be a help to the team. You you didn't give it to anybody, did you? Oh, thanks. Oh, man. Now I feel bad. You got this. Nobody? Man! I, I've noticed! <laughs> well, thankfully you have me, the most positive thinker ever. And you don't see it on my protagonist's face, but I totally believe in you. Well, that's what we're here for. We're a team. Aww. Have some chocolate! Oh, that's so nice. Here's hoping she didn't actually make me chocolate. If it starts moving on its own, or if it starts ticking, we've got an issue here. We will get you ready, Fuka. Don't you worry. Have some encouragement. Please, think positively. Relationship is growing, but you're still just friends. Maybe. Hey, watch Hell's Kitchen. You'll know what not to do. Well, 
Start small. Go for like Paula Dean or something. All you need is butter. You know, I think you're overthinking this. But here, I'll lend a hand. I have to search for my own cookbooks. Only then will I become a chef. You mentioned how you haven't been to a bookstore in a while. You and the rest of the world. Well, I, I hope that helped, Fuka. Like I said, I'll, I'll help you out. We'll get this done. Where have you been? Where have I been? I've been helping people cook. And there he goes. Well, no Tartarus tonight. So off we go. Let's do our coffee. Let's do our study. Let's do our requesting, but all of my requests are finished for the moment, so never mind on that. Tomorrow, we're actually going to Tartarus for grinding specifically. I want everybody to be at at least level 20. And for the seniors, I'm actually going to get them to level 21 so they can learn one more move. And the basics of how I'm going to do Tartarus is just run them ragged and then they leave and then I just swap out for another person. And honestly, I can't wait to do that because we need a little bit of help. And this upcoming fight, I'm not exactly sure what a good level would, would be to fight them. So the more prepared I am, the better. Seven times seven is 49. My worst subject, calculus. You know, I always heard a lot of high schoolers talk about calculus, but me, during my high school years and even in college, I never took a lick of calculus. So for those of you out there who were in that advanced course, from all I've heard is that it's hell. It is hell math. I, I hope... It isn't as bad as people say, because I'll never know, so maybe it is. Wait, you want to be unconscious with the person you love? That's like sleeping next to them. You get nothing out of it, besides the fact that you are there next to them. Please don't become unconscious with the person you love. I mean, it kind of sounds romantic, but you're just going to wake up confused and not knowing what you're doing. Shihiro, we need to talk. It's nothing bad or anything, it's just our relationship is going to grow stronger today. Now it's time to see where this story is going. <laughs> well, yeah, we're not close to each other. We're so far away. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, student council president. Oh. At least I know her. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna put this bluntly, Chihiro. She will have our head if you actually did steal that money. No, no. I think we'll be fine. This is Mitsuru we're talking about. She may be judge, jury, and executioner, but at least she listens. I mean, unless you did something heinous like that one teacher who was found in bits and pieces after what happened to some of the students. And it even has the serious music. Her demeanor is so forward. Slams down on the desk. The money. No, jump, don't jump to conclusions. Let her finish.
Don't worry, Chihiro. You got this. See, there we go. The best treasurer can be anybody. Aww. Mitsuru, you just probably made her weak. ultimate test. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, sure. You got it. Sounds good. Yeah, I can sneak. I'm pretty good. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. Student Council President. In her room. With just me. Possibly closing the door and not coming out for a very long time. Sharing a black screen. Oh, who in our dorm is spreading rumors? Uh-oh. Someone has become a little possessive. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Where is this coming from? That was awesome! Mitsuru, was that intentional? Because if that was, you've got some excellent mind manipulation powers. Wow, this just went from awesome to stop. <laughs> Even the small details. Give it to him, Chihiro, yes! <laughs> Starts stepping on his foot. Look. <laughs> Your social life is ruined. Sorry about that, Miss Fushimi. But then I saw you spent the money on a taxi. There we go, that's what I wanted to see! Take him down! Chihiro, wherever your demon form came from, I like it. It looks like I'm the key to her power! Yes!
you talked you talked back to Mitsuru and you talked a teacher into admitting his fault. That was really cool. Starts breaking into tears. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not gonna accuse her, no. It's just, I was so awesome back there. Yeah. That's some, um, well, I still want to call it possessiveness, but that was a little something else. Well, I mean, you're absolutely right to be worried about that because everything is going to happen when we share a room alone together. cause her aggression. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. I get to meet the parent? Oh, yeah, sure. Yes. It definitely sounded like a confession. And we still have one more rank. That seemed pretty decisive. But we're getting there. Chihiro cares about us so much, she will stand up to the executioner. I mean, student council president. Sorry. Yitsuru, no offense, but goddamn, you're a ball crusher. Yeah, you might want to do that. A and that, yeah. <laughs> that was fun, Chihiro. See you later. Where have you been? Everybody here? Good. Fuka, we're heading to Tartarus. But first, the Christmas star. That that was actually perfect because I totally forgot I needed to ask Fuka for this, and you have to talk to her to go to Tartarus. So this was just perfect. Yeah, uh, my friend that only dresses in blue. She's looking for a Christmas star, but I don't think she knows what she was actually asking for. What'd you get? Oh, a poinsettia. Oh. Yeah, since it's out of season, we don't have any ornaments around here, so poinsettia will have to do. And while I'm chatting with you, and we have everybody here, let's head to Tartarus. I need to have at least one more grinding session before the next full moon, and this is going to be my night. Before we do anything else while I'm thinking about it, Elizabeth, here is your Christmas star. Yeah, it counts. It's not the exact thing you wanted, but it'll work. Well, we we used other details. <laughs> yes, you start with the star. The tree grows from inside it, and then presents pop out of the bottom. It's like a reverse growing tree. Not exactly how that works, but you know, whatever. We get a Megiddo gem for our troubles. Last but not least, got a bronze medal and an Oberon at level 17 or higher. We might do that next time. Got a bronze medal that's on the third block. Can't do that yet. So how about this? I'm gonna be doing some grinding off screen Next time with Persona 3 FES, you'll see me here with our team ready to fight whatever comes our way. And then we'll just move on with our days. Everything's going according to plan. I'll see you guys next time.